Got over 41% a season ago, leading the Warriors tonight, trying to get them back to where they feel they should be. The first play of the game, Duarte hits a cutting opponents, and one! Back out to Fox, one more. There's the rookie that set a record last year for three corners made by rookies Keegan Murray, picking up where he left off. Lodi hands it off to Thompson. Duarte with his contest, and sometimes it doesn't matter. Beyond the arc, but defensively, he could be a shutdown guy. Well, Aaron Fox with the three. And if he develops that three, it's a different game. Well, that time, Wiggins makes the pay from outside. The Kings lead by three. Here's Fox. Little drive and kicks the bonus. Knocks down the three ball. He didn't shoot it at great volume last year, but he shot it well when he did. It's a bonus. and we see early dividends already. There's another three. He might have hurt you, Richard. He might have hurt you. Thompson, Pajemski, one more to the corner. Kaminga for three, and he laces that one. A lot of one-on-one -on -one battles, and Murray certainly didn't lose his shooting touch from deep. Nice outlet to Duarte. Three, got it. Steve now says we have more adults in the world. Well, yeah, and that's tough, you know, coming off a championship and all the attention. There's probably a few things that happened outside of just the incident between Draymond and Jordan Poole. Play with the spin, and he laces the baseline jump shot. Aaron Fox fade away from the mid-range. Shot it well from the mid-range this season, but what a dime inside the hurdle. Further off a nice screen by Sabonis. Got it blocked by Wiggins. inside, Vizenkov with the finish! Vizenkov making a seamless transition. Pajemski on the drive, good help by Lyles, and the rookie with a little jelly inside. There's Thompson. Right over Monk, got it! That's a little ball here for you. That's a thing, that's just it's not, a real, that, that's just not <laughs> a real shot. Blocked by Peyton, he's made three wonderful, staunch defensive plays already in the game. So you start that the better, and you see the and one there.
things if we want to advance in the playoffs. At the same time, it can be at the expense of our offense. That's the engine that, that gets us going. At the same time, we have the ability to go out and prove this team when that opportunity comes. It's hard to know what the playoffs is about until you're, you're on that floor. I obviously don't know that person. But we've all seen that. David West, he pointed out, saying when they spoke up, people listened. David West just had a great, powerful presence. And he said that's when the team has been really good with that kind of veteran voice. And um, Chris is not vocal. He's asking a lot of questions. He's very smart. Yeah, you know what? That's a great point, Ross. So Chris Paul, wherever he shows up, has a level of basketball IQ that not many players that have ever played the game have. Yeah, and you see Trey Lyle knock down the shot. shot. Oh, shot, shot. But Chris Paul is one of the smartest basketball minds that this league has ever seen. Baseline drive. And there's the first round pick. Davis. For the two-man game. That one did a victory lap and then finally fell. Well, uh, they were. They have their group, but their young guys are playing the right way. And the Sacramento's bringing back their skinny team from last year. Robinson put the zinc off in the weight room there. Here's the rookie Jones with the left hand. Tiago Splitter. Zoran Planovich, uh, oh, Nene Kristic, uh, a bunch of guys that were coming over and barely knew English at the time. They're running the lane. Wow, is he cool? He must have a tray table on him. He was up to there.